Well, it's knockout time. It is still, of course, just a game of football, but it is a different game of football in terms of its mood. I don't think that you could get away with telling any of these players, let alone the crowd assembled here, that this is anything like what went before. As far as winning the competition is concerned, every game from this point on is win or bust. It is knockout football time. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. And so, the national anthems. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. Jorginho. And Immobile! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And it's Immobile. He's got away. Immobile. Im it's Immobile! Big relief. It just needed better contact. I think he still deserves full marks for making his way through. It was a, it was a crack and run. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. And the shot! That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. It's a promising ball. Trout immobile! Italy are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Golovin. Golovin goes for goal. A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Ziuba has been full of enthusiasm and desire, and his work rate has been very strong. He's, he's clever and been able to read the game almost a step ahead of everyone else. That's great play. Golovin really struggling to influence the game. 
They're just trying to negate his influence, and it looks like... Oh, real danger here! Gets away from his opponents. Now it's Immobile. Now it's Insigne. Immobile. Surely. Has a goal! And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. Oh, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. He's made it free. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Rapidly approaching the end, Russia are on the point of first-round elimination. Now the counter, it's the through ball, now it's Jorginho. It's Jorginho! Oh, that is rather wayward. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Golovin. And the shot! And the defence can get it clear. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Victory in round one. Still plenty to do, of course, but one huge step forwards. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Listen, it was fairly emphatic. To move on to the next round with as big a winning margin, I think, can only benefit their campaign.